Hey everybody, it's John, NY Camper 62 It's October 2012, and I wanted to put a video together on my updated solar power system at camp. Let's get started. Alright, we have a hybrid system up at camp this year. It's uh, consisting of 10 15 watt amorphous panels from Harbor Freight. I usually only have 9 hooked up for 135 watts, one designated as a spare. In addition, hooked up in parallel, I have the DM Solar 145 watt crystalline panel. In the spring, it started off with just the amorphous panels. So let's take a quick look at that. It's Saturday, July 14th. I'm testing out the addition of the 145 watt crystalline panel from DM Solar this weekend. I'm not really working with an open canopy out at camp, so most of the panels are still shaded. I have moved the extra 15 watt Harbor Freight panels on a temporary wooden mount until I can fix those to a pole mount as well as the new panel. I get a chance to pick up a few more materials. Well, it's still pre-noon, but there's a marked improvement in the results. I got about twice the power I used to be able to generate this time of morning. Because of the uh, shade in the trees, the canopy really opens up just after lunch. But I am charging the phone, running some ventilation, charging some batteries, and we've still got about two amps going back to the bank. Ah, Sunday, October 7th. Rain, heavy overcast, and some leaves now and then, but it's still trickle charging. Okay, this is actually a decent break in the weather. The sun is already starting to peek behind the trees in this short canopy, considering the season. But with the addition of the crystalline panel into the air ray, it takes advantage of uh, short bursts of sunshine and really helps put a charge on the system. All right, the amorphous panels and the DM Solar 145 crystalline panel are all wired in parallel into this nifty combiner box for a clean connection. The panels, rather the amorphous panels, I think use 16 gauge, maybe 18 gauge factory stuff. The crystalline panel comes off with 10 gauge and then I have 8 gauge feeding the charge controller inside of the camper. Tuesday, October 9th. Last month I adjusted the pitch of the crystalline and extra amorphous panels for a better angle on the sun. With winter hours coming up, every little bit helps. To do that, all I used was a small plastic spray bottle and a wrench to adjust the mount and at the right time of day eliminate the vertical shadow. It doesn't have to be rocket science. Okay, I've moved the battery bank to inside of the camper where the water tank used to be. Those are two inch vent caps uh, and I've also sealed them off with some nylon screening. I meant to trim those off but uh, it's on the list. After a couple days in the woods you tend to track a lot of nonsense into the camper. If you got carpeting, once in a while, time to hook up the inverter and run the vacuum. All right, in and around the camper, I have uh, wired up the 12 volt style sockets, and they're very handy to plug in things like the battery charger, cord for the uh, charging up the cell phone, things like that, even this camera. 
You can plug in extra lights. And there's the one that the laptop is running off of with the converter plugged into it. Here's the 12 volt socket, capped of course, for power outside. Oh, hello, it is Sunday, November 25th. Snowing outside, it's pretty cold, and it's about noon. We are generating about eh, a little over half an amp. All right. a little over half an amp because it's snowing and most of the panels are covered. Interesting how the Harbor Freight panels have collected a little more snow than the crystalline panel. Well, let's brush them off and see what we get. Spring. 2013 one third kilowatt well maybe dash over we have 415s and 160 the 245 watt kits and the 145 all right well hopefully the wind is not messing with the sound too much the idea behind a group of panels aside from two or three larger panels is so that a panel or a set of panels is always getting a fair amount of sun for a charge. All right, the secondary area, which is a 60 watt solar synergy panel and 60 watts of Harbor Freight panels, has its own mini combiner box. Let's see if we can focus in on that okay. And that's 10 gauge, which feeds into the primary combiner box which feeds 8 gauge to the controller inside the camper. Well, what's going on with all the solar power at camp? Let's see, mainly I like to have refrigeration and that works out very very well. I don't have to uh, mess around with ice or make ice runs. Of course lighting, a little exhaust ventilation for cooking, We, of course, can recharge our camera, the phone, batteries, there's the water pump. A little entertainment now and then, radio, CD player. Of course, we have the laptop, also makes a good DVD player, get a little work done now and then. And more ventilation, that's an O2 cool fan. Two speed, works out very well. And, of course, on occasion, we're getting a bunch of work done. We need to recharge our power tools or run the vacuum cleaner, a little stick vacuum cleaner. That works out real well, that uh, video on that's in the list. Keeping an eye on everything in the corner is a net meter solar LCD 30 in voltage mode. And I installed uh, an extra amp meter to uh, help keep an eye on things. I wanted to share a little information on this battery bank. Um, those are actually three dual purpose marine deep cycle batteries in parallel. They're not true deep cycle batteries. Down the road I'm going to eventually upgrade this bank to four six volt golf cart batteries uh, series parallel. But one of the reasons these batteries being three four years old have lasted and are still going strong is because I follow the 50% rule which is generally not draining your system under 12 volts or what 50 percent. Keeping things wired up for 12 volt use out here seems to help conserve a lot of energy. I don't use a lot of AC power out here but when I need to I just hook up the inverter and for short periods of time that's fine. The only bad thing I can think of about the smaller inverters is they have a lower low voltage disconnect than I care for, but that's the way it is. You gotta love it when the sun shines bathing the panels. Good amps coming in. It's not always like that out here, um, which is one of the reasons why the extra panels come into play. But from one year to the next, that about wraps it up for this video. 
Thanks for watching.